Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be exploring the iconic styles of one of the most famous fictional characters of all time, James Bond. Known for his impeccable style and suave demeanor, 007 has become a true cultural icon. But have you ever noticed the importance of watches in Bond's wardrobe? They're not just accessories. They play a significant role in defining his character and style. In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating relationship between James Bond and Seiko watches. We'll discover why Seiko was chosen to be featured in the Bond films and take a closer look at the specific models that grace the wrist of our favorite secret agent. Let's take a step back and explore how Seiko became intertwined with the James Bond franchise. It all began in the late 1970s and early 80s when the filmmakers behind the Bond series made a strategic decision to feature Seiko watches in their movies. But why Seiko? At the time, Seiko was at the forefront of watch technology, creating innovative and cutting edge timepieces. The brand's reputation for precision, durability, and advanced features made it an ideal choice to complement Bond's high-tech gadgets. This brings up to the, yes, the concept of product placement in movies. Product placement is a marketing strategy, as we all know, where brands pay to have their products prominently featured in films or television shows. By showcasing their products in popular media, brands aim to increase their visibility and create positive associations with the character or storyline. In the case of James Bond and Seiko, the product placement was a mutually beneficial arrangement. Seiko gained exposure to a wide audience and became associated with the cool, tech-savvy image of 007. Meanwhile, the Bond films added an extra layer of realism and style by featuring a real-world, high-quality watch brand. The partnership between Seiko and the Bond franchise is a testament to the power of product placement in shaping consumer perceptions and creating a lasting cultural connection. Now, let's focus on one of the most iconic Seiko watches featured in the James Bond series, the Seiko M354 Memory Bank Calendar. This remarkable timepiece made its debut in the 1979 film Moonraker, starring Roger Moore as James Bond. The Seiko Memory Bank Calendar was a groundbreaking watch for its time. It featured a digital display, multiple functions, and a sleek, futuristic design. In the movie, Bond uses the watch to store and retrieve information showcasing its advanced capabilities. The watch's appearance in Moonraker was particularly fitting as the film itself was set in a high-tech space-age world. The Seiko Memory Bank perfectly complemented Bond's gadget-laden persona and added to the overall aesthetic of the movie. On a personal note, I have to mention my fascination with the villain Jaws. With his towering, menacing stature and steel teeth, Jaws was both terrifying and captivating. As a kid, I remember being both scared and excited whenever he appeared on screen. Which brings me to a question for you. Did you find Jaws to be a great villain in the Bond series? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Did he leave a lasting impression on you as much as he did on me? The Seiko Memory Bank's inclusion in Moonraker solidified its place in Horological's history and showcased Seiko's innovative spirit. Let's move on to another iconic Seiko watch featured in the, in the movie series, the Seiko G757 Sports 100. This impressive piece uh, debuted in Octopussy, once again starring Roger Moore as the suave secret agent. The Seiko Sports 100 was a cutting edge watch that boasted a range of features perfect for a spy like Bond. It had a digital display, a chronograph function, and a built-in alarm. In the movie, Bond uses the watch to track his mission progress and stay one step ahead of his enemies. The watch's sporty and rugged design was well suited for the action-packed scenes in Octopussy. It showcased Seiko's ability to create watches that were not only technologically advanced, but also stylish and practical. On a personal note, I have a confession to make here as well. While the villain in Octopussy played by Louis Jordan was undoubtedly a bad guy, I couldn't help but admire his elegance and style, his refined demeanor, and fashion sense left a lasting impression on me. And I have to admit, it influenced my own personal style later in life. Did you ever own the Seiko Sports 100 or a similar model? And did you maybe feel a bit like James Bond while wearing it? The Seiko's role in Octopussy further cemented Seiko's reputation as a go-to brand for innovation and stylish timepieces. Its association with James Bond added an extra layer of coolness and desirability to the watch. 
Now let's shift our focus to the Seiko 7549-7009 Golden Tuna, a watch that made a memorable appearance in the 1981 James Bond film for your eyes only, one of my favorites. This timepiece is particularly noteworthy for its unique design and functionality. The Seiko Golden Tuna was a professional diver's watch that combined robustness and style. It featured a thick cushion-shaped case, a high contrast dial, and a gold-colored shroud that protected the watch from impacts. These characteristics made it an ideal choice for a spy like Bond, who often found himself in underwater missions. In For Your Eyes Only, the Golden Tuna played a crucial role in Bond's underwater adventures. Its water resistance and sturdy construction allowed Bond to navigate the depths with confidence, while its distinctive golden appearance added a touch of luxury to his diving gear. On a more personal note, I had to confess my teenage crush on Carol Bouquet, the leading lady. Her beauty and charm left a lasting impression on me, and I'm sure many others who watched the film felt the same way. What's for your eyes only one of your favorites? Anyone else have a crush on Carol Bouquet? Now let's turn our attention to the Seiko 6923-8080 SPD-09, a watch that made a brief but notable appearance again in the 1985 film A View to a Kill. This timepiece is particularly interesting because of its resemblance to another iconic watch brand, yes, Rolex. The Seiko SPD-09 had a stainless steel case, a dial with luminous hands and markers, and a date window at the three o'clock position. These design elements closely resemble those of the Rolex State Just, a watch that had already established itself as a symbol of luxury and prestige. In a view to a kill, the Seiko SB D09 was intended to be prominently featured on James Bond's wrist. However, due to a last minute change, probably a franchise deal, Bond was seen wearing a Rolex watch for most of the film, overshadowing the Seiko's presence. Despite its limited screen time, the Seiko's appearance in A View to Kill still holds significance. It demonstrates Seiko's ability to create watches that could rival the aesthetics of more established luxury bands like Rolex. I always thought it tragic that the Seiko didn't get more screen time. It's a beautiful watch. Would you have liked to see James Bond wear the Seiko watch more prominently throughout the movie? The Seiko's brief appearance in A View to Kill may have been overshadowed, but it still serves as a testament to Seiko's craftsmanship and design prowess. It's a reminder that Seiko was capable of creating watches that could hold their own against the most iconic timepieces in the world. Now, let's discuss another Seiko watch that appeared in the same film of U2 Kill, the Seiko 7828-7020 Quartz Chronograph. This watch is particularly noteworthy for its innovative technology and its role in horological history. The Seiko Quartz Chronograph featured a sleek stainless steel dial with a white dial and, cost and white subdials. It was equipped with Seiko's groundbreaking 7828 movement, which was the world's first analog quartz chronograph movement. This technology allowed for precise timekeeping and the ability to measure elapsed time with incredible accuracy. Very important to James Bond, right? In a view to a kill, James Bond can be seen wearing the Seiko Quartz Chronograph in several scenes. However, eagle-eyed viewers might notice a small continuity error. In some shots, Bond is wearing the Seiko, while in others, he's wearing a different watch. Despite this minor inconsistency, the Seiko's appearance in the film remains significant. How do you personally feel about the Seiko Quartz Chronograph's design? Do you find this blend of analog and digital elements appealing, or do you prefer a more traditional watch face? The chronograph's appearance in this movie again solidified its place in horological history as the first analog quartz chronograph. Its association with James Bond added to an extra layer of cool to an already impressive timepiece, cementing its status as a true icon of the era. So, we know that the James Bond franchise did a reboot, and as we look toward the future, it's exciting to speculate about the possibility of further collaborations between Seiko and the James Bond franchise. Seiko could continue to push the boundaries of watchmaking to create timepieces that are not only stylish, but also packed with cutting edge features. Seiko could even develop a watch with biometric security features, ensuring that only Bond himself could access its functions. The possibilities are endless, and it's thrilling to think about how Seiko could continue to innovate and contribute to the James Bond legacy. 
a renewed partnership between these two iconic brands could result in some truly remarkable timepieces that capture the imagination of watch enthusiasts and Bond fans alike. What would you like to see in a future Seiko James Bond watch? What kind of features or design elements do you think would best suit a modern day 007? Feel free to let your imagination run wild and share your ideas in the comments below. The prospect of future collaborations between Seiko and James Bond is an exciting one. With Seiko's commitment to innovation and Bond's enduring style and sophistication, the potential for groundbreaking and iconic timepieces is limitless. As fans, we can only hope that these two legendary names will join forces once again, bring us watches that embody the very essence of James Bond's world. See you in the next video.